Do you want 254.469 more millimeters of build space? Cubic, cubic millimeters. Then this is the bed design for you. This is my endless bed, and you will notice that it has no intrusive screws. So you can print wherever you want on this bed. No power is limited with this bed design. It's, it's just not. Hi guys, today I'm going to be assembling the Voron's heated bed and the print surface. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, the materials you're going to need, you're going to need drag chain. I did modify the design a little bit. Um, I call it the limit, limitless bed. And all that means, it's not really limitless, but I don't know what else to call it. Um, all that means is that there's no obtrusive screws coming into your bed. So these will actually be covered up with the PEI. And I have a couple safeguards to make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, if you'd like to see the designs for this, uh, I can share them with you or what have you. So you're going to need a sheet of PEI. I bought this on Amazon. A little bit of a disclaimer, I bought the opaque white, but I received a translucent yellow, so just look out for that. Doesn't really matter to me, but if you're going for that look, you know, just be aware. Um, next thing you're going to need is alcohol. The higher the proof, the better. Just for cleaning purposes, uh, you're going to want examination gloves. With these, do note, I have made this environment as dust-free as possible. I've, I've dusted the whole table. I've, I've, you know, gone over it once or twice with a vacuum, what, I, what, what have you. You're also going to need paper towels for the alcohol. You're going to need the Voron. These aren't the fancy ones. Apologies. But these are the, uh, I think they're called the Rev C's. Don't quote me on that. You're going to want some sandpaper. Uh, the sandpaper is for, uh, when this was cut, it was cut a bit oversized on purpose. And the sandpaper is just to draw that line closer to the edge. Um, you're also going to need a heated bed. I'm using a 110 volt, 500 watt heated bed. Um, I also have a grounding wire with a, I believe this is called a ring crimp on here. Um, and I'll show you how to attach that. You're going to need some cork board if you use these drag chains, which I recommend using these drag chains. Um, yeah, You're also going to need 3M adhesive, uh, both for the drag chain and for the cork board and the, uh, the PEI. I'll show you all that later. And you're going to need a ratchet, something like that. This is an adjustable pipe wrench. And you're going to need a screwdriver. Um, this is all the hardware. Four wing nuts. Four um, washers. Seven uh, smaller washers. Four M4 bolts. Um, eight M4 nuts. And I'll, I'll show you the details on that. You also need a ruler, just for reference. All right, so let's let's get into it. The first thing I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm going to open up these examination gloves. I'm going to put these on. I'm trying to make this environment as grease-free and as dust-free as possible so that that 3M adhesive just sticks really well. Okay, so those are sort of on. They're on enough. Um, so I'm going to take my isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to break the seal. So you can see all that, all that gunk that I'm taking off. Alright, so one thing that is critical in this design is that these holes are tapped. That's, that's the one hard part about 
this design that you do is a requirement. You have to do it. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. It's not going to happen. So these are both tapped and countersunk. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thread, thread in these M4 bolts. You want to get them relatively tight, but you don't want to strip this aluminum or you will have a bad time. An optional for this, um, though I, I would recommend it if you want like really high reliability or whatever, what have you, um, you can put a dab of JB Weld in this and that'll hold it in quite, quite tight. When you drill these holes, you do want to keep in mind that this has to be flush up here. You want to come along with with something flat like a ruler. You just want to lay that on there and you just want to feel back and forth if there's any resistance at all. Because if there is any, it's going to it's going to put a big bump and then you you've made it useless. You you you've ruined it. You've ruined The length on these, just for reference, is uh, 45 milliliters. Uh, anything close to that will get you in the ballpark. Again, that doesn't really matter as long as they go all the way through with a little bit of gap for these. Um, all right. So once you get those threaded in, you're gonna turn it upside down again. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your your, your washer. And you're gonna you're gonna set the washer down. And there's a smooth side and there's a rough side. And I'm gonna do the rough side just because I feel like that grips onto the metal and it'll depress the metal a little bit. And it'll it'll just bite into the metal a bit more than the smooth side. And that's just due to the manufacturing process. But um, yeah. So you, you see how much how much torque I'm actually putting putting on this it's it's quite a bit and that's because I, I don't want this to come loose because if this comes loose it's ruined it's 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 done your 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 bed is, is useless until you can get that 3m adhesive off and believe me that that is a nightmare That's how I know where to build stuff. Okay, this one's a bit different. This one, you're going to take a green, uh, this is this is uh, 14 aug wire, and that's because I'm using this 50 watt, 110 volt, 14 aug will, will get the job done, right? Um, and I'm just going to place that under there. There's a reason why I did this one that. And that's because you're going to have this wire hanging off of it. Get this wire. But the important part, this is this is going to be a grounding wire. That's in case, you know, shit hits the fan and your heated bed shorts out or something like that and sparks are flying and whatever. This will keep your house from burning down. So, I like that. And, um, I like being able to live in a home. So they have this be be attached over there, but I ended up just going with this because this is a more elegant solution. And I only had three hole taps, and I wasn't gonna put a giant hole in my bed. Um, yeah. So you want to make sure this kind of this kind of lies going going out because that's where hey, we're gonna mount our thing. Jay. Yeah. Adjustable screw, one of those screwdrivers up there with like the cow handle where you can insert the tip into the screwdriver. Yes, I do. Do you need this? Are you doing a video? I am doing a video. Well, you need to put like a sign downstairs that says recording in progress. What? Another cameo appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one more time. Okay, so once you've got that clean, you'll notice that there's there's no gunk coming off, and that's that means it's good. We're good to go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this transfer tape. 
Um, and we're we're gonna we're gonna cut this to the dimensions of your bed. So my bed is nine inches by nine inches. So I'm actually gonna take yeah nine inches by nine inches. So I'm gonna mark with a pencil, and you'll notice the pencil it it doesn't stick very well to this. So I'm just going to kind of depress the uh, depress it, and I'm actually uh, I'm gonna use my my lovely PEI sheet as a guide. Now this will this will work with glass, but the problem with glass is that you have the binder clips, and that's why I've never liked glass um, because it, it limits your build volume, um, and I I don't like being lied to when it comes to my build volume. Um, you know, if you say nine inches by nine inches, by golly, it's not nine inches by nine inches. And you can do the math, and you can see how much build volume you're actually losing because you have screws. Because you, print, you, can't, you can't print there. So that means you've got a big cylinder that's just, that's just being wasted. So this, this doesn't have to be cut with a fair amount of accuracy, but you, you do want to get the job done quite well. If you're wondering whether or not you could, should cut outside or inside the line, um, you want to count. You you want to cut outside because you can trim the rest off with your exacto knife. That's why you've got an exacto knife um, is to trim that remainder. So this is this is it. This is your adhesive for your bed, your your print. So this is this is when it all when it all comes down. I'm gonna clean this one more time. So let's, let us begin the transfer tape challenge. So the goal here is to get as little bubbles in, as possible. And one of the ways you're going to do that is you're going to take this, and as you go along, you're going to run this along, and that's going to push out any, any bubbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel a thin little strip and I'm going to make sure I'm going to fold this, I'm going to fold this piece down and I'm going to take that thin little strip and I'm going to place it on the, it's got to be relatively large otherwise it's not going to work but yeah and I'm going to lie that strip down on the aluminum and I'm going to press it in real real nicely and now you see that I have this this tab underneath and I'm going to pull that tab and as I pull it behind it, I'm going to have this, I'm going to come along with my ruler, and I'm just going to press this down, and you should be able just to press, to press that as much as possible, or you're going to have a really bad time. There you go. Now that is, get the last little bit, get the last little bit, that is well adhesed. Um, I'm going to come along with my exacto. Bit of, so, so there, there you have it, there's your, your transfer tape, load it up. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to identify whether you want the smooth side of your PEI or your rough side of your PEI. PEI has two sides, 
when you buy it from Amazon, apparently. Other places may not. That means there are two distinct sides. We will notice that one is matte and one is shiny. The shiny side provides a better surface finish that looks a bit like this, which is very, quite nice, but the adhesion may not be as good. The matte side is quite, uh, quite a bit more uh, tacky, um, at least when it comes in terms of the filament, and the filament will stick a bit better. So you're gonna you're gonna remove a bit of your. I'm going to remove the protection. Do make sure you are removing the protection on the right side because you can't put the protection back on. So I'm going to remove the protection on the matte side because I want that side to face down. Oh, that's so satisfying. Flawless. Keep your hands off that uh, so you won't have to clean it. Okay, so now what you're going to do, this, this is going to be the tricky bit, is you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to peel up slightly and you're just, you're just going to get a corner up and you are going to, I'm going to go over it one more time, get something like, like a credit card or whatever. This is a flash drive. Just get something with an edge. And you're going to peel, peel away. I'm doing this a bit slowly um, as not to tear. The, there, there's like a gel in between these, uh, these sheets. And that gel is the adhesive. And so I'm trying not to tear that at all. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to tear that. So very slowly. This is why you want a dust-free environment right now. It's because that is adhesive. Just in case you, you didn't know what it was. Yeah, there's your PEI installed. We're not going to take the protector off yet because we're going to come by with our sandpaper and we are going to sand it flush. We can take our gloves off now. Whoa, look at that. That's disgusting. Ooh. So once you've kind of kind of trimmed that off, you're gonna pull that off, and you're gonna see beautiful work. Ta-da! Look how gorgeous that is. That's a bed right there, and look, your screws are not limiting your power. No power is limited with this bed design. It's it's just not. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this. This is a 500 watt heater. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put this on the cork just so I don't, I don't scratch it or anything on accident. We're going to take this cork or this uh, this, and we're going to identify how we want it mounted. So these these bed carriages are going to go. Go ahead and refer to the official design um, for how you want these these wires oriented. Um, you're not going to be able to undo these. 
because this is, again, 3M adhesive. Uh, same type. Same type. Um, so go ahead and refer where you're going to want your wires coming from. Uh, I want mine coming from the back. Again, th this is mirrored, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I want mine coming coming from different than what's specified in the design files. Um, mainly because I, I already have one. Uh, I have one on my current printer. And it heats up faster than my hot end. And that is one thing I love about it. Because it is 500 watts and 110 volts. And that's a lot of power. Power's good, right? Right. So you're going to line that up the way you want it. Uh, get a pair of gloves. I lied about the gloves. You're going to want your gloves. You're, you're going to want to put your gloves back on. As you can see, I am just fantastic at putting gloves on. Um, very simple task, which is made quite hard by the recent weather we've been having, which has been hot and steamy. We're going to take our alcohol and a rag or your paper towels, which I recommend you have. We're going to dip it like that. And we're going to clean this off. I'm going to get all the gunk out. See all that gunk coming off? That could be your bed coming off, but instead we're cleaning it, which means that it's not going to come off. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay on. So you're going to come along with your X-Acto knife, and you're just going to flip that up. Now this, I don't want to bend this, so I'm going to just take it as one sheet, because any air bubble, it's not really going to matter. For the time being, I'm just going to use this thermistor, but do refer to Thomas uh, Sandlander's guide, I think that's how you say his name, not sure. But, refer to his guide on how to install a separate thermistor. I'm just going to use this one. Or, I may take a PT100 and stick it in the side here, which would be dope. Now for the drag chain. Uh, this drag chain I got on Amazon. Doesn't lay flat. Whatever. It was six bucks. And I got a whole lot more. So that's good. It goes up, it goes down. I have this one measured for 12 inches. I may have to add more segments or remove segments based on the design. It's fun. Um, so remember that 3M adhesive extra you had from earlier. Great. You are going to take... I noticed this came with two sides. This side, which is... going to do is we're going to do the bed carriages. Um, you're going to start by bringing these down. You're going to start by, by bringing these down and you're going to come along with your ruler and you're just going to measure like ten millimeters is a good number. Just about 10 millimeters. Come by with your calipers if you really need to. And I'm going to place these washers, again, smooth side facing the nut. Uh, and I just feel like that better better contacts with the, um, with the uh, bed carriage. So I'm just going to do this.
Okay, so now we've got we've got those those brace nuts down, um, and now we're just going to set those down. The only reason why these are 10 millimeters is to prevent these from racking on that, uh, unless you have an adjustable bed, which I don't know why you wouldn't have some sort of auto leveling system unless your firmware didn't support it, and I'm pretty sure every firmware does. Um, yeah, you're just going to make sure those are all seated. Then you're going to place your large washer, which are in diameter 75 inch, or excuse me, not 75, uh, 0.75 inches. These are three quarters inch washers. They do not have in for insides, inner diameters, but they do. They are, the inserted diameter is less than the wing nuts, and that's that's all that matters. As long as it's less than the wing nut. Little less than, uh, little less than 10 millimeters on those nuts. Take a rain check on that 10 mil. Um, so if I can get this wing nut on, you will find that it is quite easy to wrench that down. And while you're wrenching it down, you will notice you will notice that your screw should not be moving. If it moves, you messed up bad. Go home. Drop that. Drop this one there. Little less than 10 mil, um, no preciseness necessary. I'm actually going to come back and do a little bit more. Just what feels right. Obviously, it depends on your screw length. This is using the default um, things. I, w I wanted to make sure I didn't have to redesign anything. Um, so these are these are default. I mean, you can do this straight out straight out of the kit or the box or whatever. Whatever you build your three D printers. In. I am doing this smooth side, smooth side up, spikyish side down, or whatever, sharp side down. Just a bit of a burr. The only reason why I'm using these big washers is because they fit flush, nice and flush, with, uh, the uh, those edges, and they look they look quite attractive, quite nice. Now this this bed, it's gonna be fairly solid, which means there is the chance. There's an off chance that you may experience racking when it comes to the uh, the linear rails. If so, you readjust these, you're all set. It is readjustable, which is one of the main points that I wanted to address with this with this bed design. So there, whoa, neat. There you have it. That is. That is a piece of equipment right there. Um, so that's going to be my, my Voron bed. Um, I think it is quite nice. I think it looks okay. There's some things there, but that's kind of why I wanted the opaque. But um, there's so many other things to be mad about. Uh, I'll do an update video on how I attach this. Because um, that needs to be attached properly. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you... Hey guys, thanks for taking a look at my uh, bed design. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, 